So I wanted to go in my makeup bag. I have to go through it anyway, so I was like, well, then I share going through it. I wish I'm smelling everything. It's so weird. Anyways, I got this makeup bag at one of the fruit pantries that I go to. Sometimes it came with like this and some, it came with this bag and like some nail polish and stuff in it. Maybe some lip glosses. It's got a little tassel. And it says, but first, me time. I really love this bag. It's like one of my favorites. I'll probably be holding on to this for like quite a while. This is what she looks like. Now, I only use like three things from my makeup bag, and I'm going to show them to you right now. Okay, and then we'll find out what else is in there, just because I'm curious. So, I use mascara, and I don't have a ton on right now, just a little bit. Sometimes I do like a second coat, but I didn't. And this was recommended to me, um, well, not to me personally, but to her followers, um, ASMR, um, Maria, I don't, I don't know what it's called, Whispers, not Whispers Red, um, Whisper ASMR, I'm not sure, if you put in Whisper Maria, I'll just link her, I'll link her page in the description, but her name is Maria, and, um, she had recommended this. It's called Bang, Bad Girl Bang. Um, and you can buy it in a smaller container or a large one like this. And um, I don't really like it. it. It's okay, but it like wears off. Maybe it's not waterproof. Um, it doesn't say anything about it, but um, it doesn't say waterproof and if I cry it runs and um, if I sweat it runs and um, but I mean I like it I like it other than the fact that it doesn't I like the brush here's what the brush looks like it's just like little thin one of those rubbery brushes I like the brush and I like how it it um, separates the lashes but as far as staying on it wears off as, as you wear it, it starts to look kind of like rubbed off I don't know I don't like it for that and I'll probably check to see if they have a version that is waterproof they may or may not I don't know and so I definitely use that and I use this which is a um, bronzer it's like a bronze blush that I found in a dumpster when it was brand new it just didn't have the um what kind is it I don't know if I found it at Ulta The, this, the, um, flash is blinding me. Um, yeah, I might have to turn the flash off because it's literally blinding me. Oop. Okay, let's just turn the flash off. I mean, that's better because <laughs> I really wasn't able to, like, look at you guys for a little bit there. Okay, so I, I think I found it Ulta. If I didn't, I found it in, like, CVS. Um, but it's a bronzer, and I keep it in this bag. For the smallest time, I had it in one of those little sandwich bags with, like, a cartoon on it. I think it was, like, Superman or something. And I recently just switched to the blue bag because I was getting tired of looking at how old and ridiculous the other bag was. So I just put it in here and, like, roll it up. Pretty cheesy. And here's my brush that my sister gave me, which is, like, super old. Look, the paint's coming off. She gave me this brush a long time ago, and I've used it for my blush. This is the only one of the only brushes I have. I just don't get into makeup like that. Like, maybe I need to, but I probably need to put some paint on this old barn, you know? But I just don't get into it that much. So this, definitely. And, oh, sometimes I'll use the rest of this remainder. This is CoverGirl. This is the remaining stick I have left. And I can't find another CoverGirl like this. If you guys know how to get a CoverGirl concealer stick like this, um, Flair, Fair Claire, it's four grams or four, four grams, 0.14 ounces. It was made in New York. Hmm. 
cover girl. Yeah, I can't find one, and it's like my favorite. I don't know. I do have another one in here that is. Anyways, I got. Yeah, this one's weird. This is a cover girl, too. I should have just taken it back. Well, I guess it comes on, but it's weird. Like, ugh. It's got a terrible smell. <sighs> True blend stick. It, like, it's cake. I don't know if you can see that. It's so cakey. And then if you. Let me see if I try to blend. It just doesn't really blend. Like, I can't use that for concealer, anyways, under my eyes. That's a no-go. So I never use it. I just keep it in my bag. I don't know why. Um, Before I get any further, let me show you what I do really like. That maybe you don't know about. And I have one that's in my car, and I'll show it to you when I go out to the car. I'll take a little video of it. But um, Bath & Body Works actually has an amazing, um, amazing like lip care collection. Um, this is one of my favorites. It says, my favorite night balm, eight hour overnight recovery. And I actually just put some on a minute ago under my Burt's Bees. I had Burt's Bees, which I probably should have brought that into. Um, it's really thick and it definitely leaves your lips moist until the morning. So I love wearing it in the day too. <laughs> because it, leaves, it keeps your lips moist. And it doesn't taste bad. At all. And this has lasted me like a really long time. How much was it? Is the price still on here? It was a pretty penny. I'll tell you that much. But it's lasted a really long time. And then this is one that Stevie got that she didn't really want. This was $10.50. I'm sure we have coupons for it. It's called Lip Balm Bath Body Works Candy Apple. You should be able to see it. I don't think I got my hand back. I just see all these other YouTubers put their hand back, so that's why I put my hand behind. So, that's what it looks like. And it tastes and smells like candy apple. All of them taste really good. Now, there's one in my car that I wear, and I leave it in my car, and I wear it when I go out. It is like a peppermint winter blend, and it's, it's supposed to keep your breath smelling fresh because it smells minty, and it tastes minty, and it feels really cool and tingly, too. That's in the car. I'll show that to you when I go out there. Okay, I want to go ahead and show you guys really quick. I told you I'd show you this other one that I have. It's called Vanilla Mint Supreme Twice the Moisture, Twice the Breath Freshener Lip Shine. It's by Bigelow Apoth Apothecaries, Sixth Avenue, below Ninth New York, and it's it's um. But this we got at Bath and Body too, and this is was eight dollars. The next generation of mentha. So it's 100% natural mint. Vanilla mint. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Uh, let me see if I can get it to. We got it at Bath and Body Works. And let me see. And it's really awesome. It has one of those little tippies. You know. And it smells like... Um, it smells like mint, vanilla mint. Really, it does. Yeah. Aren't we? Is it? We're, aren't we supposed to go to the pantry on Thursday anyway? Yeah. So I can yeah. go on Monday. Because we go to the one on Monday sometimes too. Oh. So yeah, I I never would have guessed that the lip products at Bath and Body Works were so good, but they are. So check them out if you got dry lips. Okay, let's see. I have this Elf spray. That I used to use, which is like a primer mist, aqua. Pretty sure this was a dumpster find. No, I think I bought this at Walgreens. Yeah. Although there are a lot of dumpster finds, I'm gonna tell you that right now. This is a palette that I've used quite a bit, and like I have an ancient brush in here, which is by me. Makeover Essentials. It's probably a dollar show brush. And then, I know I just really like those colors a lot in there. I feel like they look good on my skin tone. Like, it's not really the blue, but. And then I have not opened this yet. MUA Makeup Academy. I haven't opened it yet. Makeup Academy. 
Academy. We will try it together one day. I don't want to open it right now, though. The good old A and D ointment for those crevices. Oh, this is cream. Andy cream. I remember why I got this. Moisturizes and helps soothe flaky skin. Oh, this is for Nature Replex Vitamin A and Vitamin D cream combines oh, non-greasy moisture to help soothe dry, flaky skin. Jeez, you can put this on your hands even, I guess. Okay, what else? This uh, was a dumpster find. LA Girl Pro Matte. Um, let's put it on my skin. So that that actually is pretty cool. Um, if you were to really blend it out, I don't feel like it's my shade. That's why probably I don't wear it. Yeah, that was like aggressive. I didn't need to get that aggressive with it. Okay, next. Okay. What else? This is Stevie's lipstick. Ramel. She bought it with her own money. It's purple. It's supposed to turn. Yep. So she wears that when she wants to. Maybe I could put it on that. That Andy ointment. It's dry, flaky skin right there. It's been itching and itching and itching. I think it's eczema, guys. I think I'm having a flare-up, which I haven't had in, like, years. Oh, okay. I haven't tried these yet. The, yeah. It's okay. What's up? Yes. So, this is a French manicure real nail polish strips. I can't wait to try these. I haven't tried them. They've been in here forever. Unopened. Color, Shea, Color Street. Yeah, I haven't done it. I have to do it though. The container is old. I don't know if there's an expiration date. I don't think there is these. Maybe. I don't like it. I don't know. Anyways. This is made in the USA too. That's cool. Now that I'm opposed I'm not opposed to buying things from other countries. Most of what we do buys from other countries, but I just thought it was cool. It's local. Okay. This is one of those sticks that you take hair off, but it's not. It's not sharp enough. I guess maybe you have to like keep buying these. They don't last forever. But I thought it was a scene as seen on TV one. Flawless. They're dirty because my makeup bag is dirty. Let me see if there's other ones in there. Yeah. See, there's this one. It came in a, was it a two set? There's, I think there's one more. Careful, buddy. Hmm. Here it is. Yeah, maybe there's a smaller one. Oh, oh God. Got some stuff in there from the bottom of my makeup bag. Anywho, yeah, those are probably going to get. Unless you can, like, redo them or, like, make them to where you can use them. Again. I don't think so. Anyways, this is the last mascara that I had, which came in a two pack. Um,. CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast and Lash Blast Amplifying Primer. So you would put this on before you put the primer on, and it just it came in as white. There's really hardly none in there. Um, so your eyelashes would look white when you put this on, and then you would put this on. And I really love this. I should probably get it again. Um. I really liked this a lot, and I don't feel like this came off. Um, I can't remember. I'd have to experiment. I don't think it did. I would have liked it like I did if, if it if it came off. So yeah, that was that was really cool. And so I used that before I switched to this other mascara. And I found this in a dumpster. Revlon. It was not opened. It was unopened. But you have a little pad there. I've used it a couple times. Not much into powder. But, yeah, this is because I don't know how to use it. It's not because the powder is bad. <laughs> I just don't know how to use it. 
properly. Oh, I haven't tried this. A turmeric vitamin C clay mask. Yay, hey, maybe I'll do that today. You want to do a mask yeah. with me today, Stevie? No? Okay, well, I'm going to do it later. Try it later. Ooh, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Blue. Blue mascara, that's gone. I should just probably check that. I definitely am going to check that. Look at that's so gone. I've had that for a while. My mom loves the kind of um, different colors. Great lash. I don't know. This might have been a dumpster find or a stocking stuffer. But it doesn't look like it is... Let me do a twirl. No, it looks dry as a bone. It looks dry as a bone. I'm going to throw that away. This was... Also, did I buy this? Did I try this? Um, Candid Glow by Revlon. I may have bought this trying to find a type of concealer because as you can see, my, um, my CoverGirl stick was like wearing down. Even though this is a foundation, Moisture and Glow Anti-Pollution Foundation. <sighs> I don't wear it currently, so like sometimes these types of Makeups make my face break out even more so. My skin has changed a lot since I've had Marshall, and I don't really know what's going on with it. But like, it's like blotchy. Not. I mean, just look at it. I I, I want to like conceal it, but at the same time, it's me, and also like it just sometimes irritates my skin even more. So I don't know. So I have that. Maybe we might use it in the future. Oh, here's. Well, there's a larger one. So there's four of these. And this was also a dumpster find, and that one broke out. But it's actually like a blush brow. Is it just a eyebrow? Hooked on vinyl. I can't remember. So oh yeah, look, it's a oh it's Wet and Wild. It's a little kit that shows you how to make a certain design. I don't, I don't think I've ever really used it. It's got some chapsticks from various places. Just random chapsticks. What's this? Smooth and supple lip mask melt. Ooh. I'm going to have to try that. I have, it looks like I have tried that. That looks pretty cool. Okay, here's another one that I have. Where's the top to it? This is the top. It goes to... This is Neutrogena Hydro Boost, which I was really hoping I would love this. Um, What's that? Some type of something or other. Um, I just really didn't like it. I don't know why. I just did not end up liking it like I thought I would. Who knows? But the top keeps falling off. This is the other brush that I have that I do with like eyeshadow stuff. And that's garbage. And then I've got like a whole bunch of different pencils. This is my, oh I forgot, this is my everyday, every, not every day, but every time I put makeup on. My eyebrow pencil right here. I do my eyebrows with, I just like make them a little bit darker. So that I use like every time I make one. And then I have different brushes too that I've played with along the timelines here. I don't want to say yours because it hasn't been, but you makeup people are probably like, oh, you should need to throw those away. They're like pollutant. Not pollutant, but just not. It's this one. This one's gone. Ah, it falls apart in here? No, I'm not used to that. That's a little black one. There's this is black too. This isn't red. Let me set these down. Oh, it's a brown. Medium brown. Hmm. It's really pretty actually. That was a dumpster find. <coughs> Another one of these. I don't know what color are they. I think they're the colors of the bottom. LA Colors Beauty Pot Eyeshadow. That's cool. That's a little tin. That's cool. And then what else? Just I have this little foundation app of a plier and then a pencil. Or I mean a pencil sharpener. So that's it. This is what's in my makeup bag. And I'm definitely going to get rid of some right now. I'm just only going to put what I'm going to keep in here and get rid of the rest. 
It says I've needed to go through this for a while because it's just like a lot. I always put a little bag together for my niece. So I guess that's what I'll do. But anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video and for looking to see what's in my makeup bag. Um, this is really close up. I don't know how to get it further away. But I thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please subscribe. Click we love like. to have you. Click the like button. And subscribe. Put a message down. Leave some comments. We check them all. We respond to them. We love you guys. Thanks for being here. Click like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Click like and subscribe. Thank you. We. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The crunchy button. Hit the...